Hi, this is episode 19 of Krondos. I'm your host, Jordan Hudgens. I'm a Ruby dev and the CTO of the DevCamp platform. On Thursdays, I cover a technology topic that affects the developer community. And today, I'm gonna talk about Action Cable, a new feature in Rails 5. Last year, I attended RailsConf, where DHH gave a great keynote address and talked about how Rails 5 is going to help bridge the gap between a lot of the features people love in client-side MVC and SPA type applications and classic Rails development. Because he's a founder of Rails and has some really strong feelings about it, he's not really a fan of traditional client-side MVCs. If you're new to web development, client-side MVCs and SPAs are different types of applications that have a lot of logic and functionality built into the front end of the application. Years ago, it used to be something where the back end held 100% of the logic and all the functionality, and the front end was really just HTML. And then after a little while, then they started to incorporate some dynamic components such as jQuery and JavaScript. But but over the past couple of years, there's been a growing phenomena where a lot of logic and some really cool behavior has been built in using these JavaScript client-side MVC frameworks, such as Angular, React, and Ember. I think it's important to discuss why these type of frameworks have become so popular. If you have ever been on an application, such as Facebook, for example, and a message popped up out of nowhere, you didn't refresh a page, a little message just popped up and said, hey, a friend is trying to contact you. That is leveraging a specific JavaScript framework. For Facebook, they use the React framework, They're actually the creators of the React framework. And for years, it's been really difficult to build that type of dynamic real-time functionality into Rails applications because Rails is a stateless type of app where it uses standard RESTful calls and you need to refresh pages and do things like that in order for content to be changed on a page. However, in Rails 5, Action Cable, which is a new module that's been added, looks to change all of that and bridge the gap so that you can have those real-time updates and that live data feel in Rails applications. So let's go through an overview of Action Cable. First, looking at the Who. It was developed by the Rails open source community. Next, for the What, it's a module in Rails 5 that leverages WebSockets to bring state to an application. This means that your users won't have to change or refresh a page to get new data. It can be pushed to them from the application itself. Also note, it doesn't require archaic forms of development such as polling, which can really hurt performance. For the when, it is available now and will be officially released when Rails 5 is considered the stable version. For the where, you can get it from the Rails GitHub repository. For why this is important, this is important because users are now expecting to have the ability for applications to be more dynamic. Having stateless apps aren't good enough anymore, and a tool like Action Cable will let you deliver real-time data and updates to users while still within the Rails framework ecosystem. Lastly, for the how, Action Cable creates the concepts of channels, where you can perform asynchronous data transfers, both requests and responses from within the application files with no page refresh. I hope this gives you a good idea of what Action Cable is and why it's so important for Rails 5. I've also included in the show notes some links to some tutorials where you can go and create some real-time applications.